Hi guys, how you doing? This is Captain Jack Sparrow here, and I'm bringing you a new mod pack. Let's play. I am playing Infinity 1.7 on the Feed the Beast launcher, and I'm enjoying it tremendously. So, I'm in a hidey hole. This is just after episode one, and I decided to make sure I had all my ducks in a row, and this is what I forgot, my intro. So, as you know, I update my intros throughout my series, and I hope you guys enjoy this series. So, with that said, if you guys like what I'm doing, if you want to see more, if you want to support, slap that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, and don't just do it for me. Do it for other YouTubers and other Let's Play series that you're visiting. Make sure that you're supporting your favorite guys and gals. And, well, with that said, let's see how many more derps I can create. I've created a lot. Anyway, here's your episode, and have a good day. Hey guys, this is Captain Jack Sparrow. Welcome back to the Infinity Mod Pack Let's Play with me. We're jumping right into this mess. Um, unlike last episode, I don't have anything planned. I was out wandering around looking for, believe it or not, a desert. Because I need some blaze powder and you can get a flower in the desert and use it for blaze powder. And I wandered onto a village. And I, I wanted to show you guys, ba boom, village. And we are right here. So that is not too far away from us. I'm happy to see that. It's a good thing to find over here. Let's go raid it. Been using the trusty uh, uh, hang glider. And I already see a smell three, which is good. We may not actually raid it just yet. If it seems a little glitchy, it is. Uh, I'm rendering a video at the time of this recording. So, ooh, we got a bees one, two, two apiaries. Awesome. Okay. I think, what time is it? Dang it. I'm going to baby this village. We're going to recover this village. We are going to get all the mobs out of this village I, I don't know if those are are unfriendly or not but I don't like them so they stink and smell we're gonna fence this whole village in and save this village from wait why am I what why am I poisoned This is rude. Right after I say I'm gonna save you guys, you, you all poisoned me. Something poisoned me. I wonder if I was too close to some flowers or something. Or not some flowers, some bees. I'm still poisoned. Hi, Mr. Villager. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Okay. I wonder if it's these guys that poisoned me. Can I scan you? Alright. We've gone quite a bit ahead in the Thawncraft. That's the Apothecary. Okay. Yeah, let's go work on getting some trees down. And, and yeah, let's start building around the village. Hey, dude, you're consorting with a troll over there, or whatever that thing is. Where, what are you? You're you're not grass. You're a hobgoblin. Can I scan you? I can. I just scanned a... Ooh, scanned a villager. Dude, yes. We scanned a villager. Now, are you... Okay, they're all the same. So all villagers and all them are the same. Okay. We need to go get some wood. And start oh look at that there's a great wood tree and as soon as we can we're gonna sleep so trade out this for this
and while I build this guys I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video and we'll pick it up sometime later uh, believe it or not I have a German pancake waiting for me and I'm really hungry so but I just wanted to show you guys this so anyway I'll be back all right guys welcome back I have uh, I think given up on trying to wrap this village with a fence I've pillaged pill pillaged I swear there's at least one or two new words when I play this game I've pillaged pretty much everything out of here um, this village is massive I don't know if you guys get the gist of it I've cut down three great wood trees and turned them completely into fences and gone probably three quarters of the way around it I could go the whole way around it but the whole point to that is one thing to be able to come back and utilize the trading of the villagers well i'm gonna one up a village and take a villager with a safari net and i'm gonna take probably the thomcraft or the the bees or the thomcraft villager i haven't decided um the reason is probably this one because it has proven frames if I get into bees we're gonna need proven frames but more so I can create a villager spawner and villages are then a thing of the past they're somehow sporting zombies under them they're not a necessity for what I'm going to do so let's go ahead and get out of here I've looted 80 90 percent of the stuff i want to take sheep um but it's going to take me a minute to get back to my base so i'm going to climb up here and then just hurl myself off the edge with well my hang glider and let's see how far we can get well that was pointless Well, at least we'll get over here. We can follow the river a little bit. Do, 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 do. I need to get a video editor that allows me to fast forward and not cut. Okay. Alright. That put us a good deal closer, because now we're at that stripped area over here with all the exposed ores. And then I wanted to show you guys on the way back where I found a piece of obsidian, because you guys probably saw a piece of obsidian in my, in my inventory. And it comes from, let me find it, over here these dark spots on on the map these are are parts of the map that are affected by an aura node and usually a negative aura node there's different stages of said nodes and if you are lucky enough to get one that spawns where are they we're headed right for one and i'm headed right for a sneeze if you're lucky enough to get one, well, sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you're not. I was able to, and I don't know why I'm yawning. Blah. I'm still having some residual effects of my daughter's cooking. She made German pancakes for, for breakfast this morning. Now, as you see, we instantaneously go into a darker little area here, and in the center here, there was a, a block, and then under it was a spawner, and then under it was a... No, I think it was... Yeah, there was a chest. Or no, it was a chest on top of a block on top of a spawner. But the spawner is a wisp spawner. And if I was smart, I could have saved it. I need to find one. But I also need to verify that there's a way to um, pick up spawners in this mod pack. If there's not a way to pick up spawners, then... Saving spawners is literally pointless. So. What is all over my house? Are those torches? Uh, 
Okay, from a distance, those looked wickedly weird. I, I didn't know what to think. I was being invaded or something. I don't know. Anyway, we made it back, so it's not that far away, the, the village. It's just right there. So that's that's kind of good. I'm assuming there's a forest fire there. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So the quarry's still cleaning out that spot. And you guys didn't see it, but off camera I had to cr uh, correct the problem. Well, I got a lifetime supply of lava because, well, silly me, I built my base right on top of a lava field. Let's go ahead and empty some chests here. Yeah, as you can see, we've been kind of filling up a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is the, the, the some of the stuff that we pulled out of the, the village. Yeah, that's good enough, because we're just going down here to check and see how well it's doing. Check on the wood. That's good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, and it's... Oh, no. This isn't good. Not good. Come on, bring it, skeleton. I see your hand there. Okay, I kind of like this setup a little better, and I'm getting trapped. I'm gonna die. Maybe. Me up. Sorry for that. I don't think I can cut that, but uh, come on. This is not fun. So close to dying. Okay, well, uh, that. It's a death trap if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do now. I, I do like the fact that the quarry didn't pick up all of the uh, the other stuff. I, I think... I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm not used to having to deal with this. Usually it's it's gone way further than this. And, and yeah, this has just turned into a, a mess. Well, um, hmm, what to do? I still think this is kind of weird. I like the other way it did it. Alright, let's head back down and check it out. Okay. Down. Thank you. Ow. Ooh, creepers. Yeah, I don't care. I'll dodge you. Goodbye. I, I, I'm not even going to stick around. The thing's got enough wood in it to where it's fine. It's not going to do me any good to sit there and try and fight those guys. Because they'll just keep spawning. I can't put torches down because they'll just, the machine will just keep tearing them up. So, what we can do is we can go this way. This route. Now, I went ahead and I made a couple of more uh, smeltery things. Basins. So I could continue the, the cooking of the powder and, and stuff like that. And we're going to just add some more. And that's one of the reasons why I took them. So there's those, and then let's put this one. Uh, let's put it here. I'm going to have to put some drains in. So I need two more drains, three more drains. Yeah, four more. I don't know how many drains I need. I can't think. I'm worried about that over there. Okay, so that means I need... You, you, you. That 
should be plenty for drains. Drains are only six. I guess I could use that. No, I didn't hook up power to it yet. Okay, well that's cooking. Any ladders? No. And I've burned pretty much all of my wood. That's not good. Because that quarry right now is solely based off of wood. Keep in mind, you still don't want to fall in. Hey. hey. We need to remap the Q button. So just remember, every layer you add, that's another layer of volume that you can take and shove in this thing. I think right now it can take three quarters of a stack. This is going to be one of the biggest smelteries I've ever made. Which is crazy because I'm never going to utilize this much stuff. Do I have enough for one more layer? It's going to be close. Doesn't look like it. I'm one short. Really? That just looks crazy. It looks like spaced invaders. Okay, let's make uh, one of those so I can do that. And one drain. Okay, we're kind of nearing to the end of th this portion. Let's see, we got two drains, three drains, and two. Okay, let's put that one last brick up there. Okay, that didn't work. One more drain. I need to put in another table, and I think it's going to go right here. Do I have a piece of dirt? I don't. I wonder if I can... Nah, I'm not going to leave this here. Um, give me a piece of dirt. Some lag again. Thought I fixed that. Okay, not a sword. Okay, should be. I guess I could have used that one. Okay, now we can make quite a bit with this guy here being that it's got four basins and two tables this means in all reality this thing never needs to leave that's cool okay it's way overkill i mean look at this i mean i don't even know how much it takes let's see how much it'll take uh where are we here um let's do lead can it take five stacks of lead it might be able to. It can take two full stacks. 
That's crazy. 128. There it goes. Why does it still only say 64? Oh, because it's still going. Yeah, 128, two stacks at a time. Which, that is insane. Okay. We'll take the lead out. And I am getting a tremendous amount of lag. And I have no... I, I, it's got to be because of that. This doesn't make any sense. I'm going to have to figure this out. My Sky Factory 2 Let's Play doesn't do this, neither does my How To. But I'm not running a quarry in 1.7. That could be problematic over there with the water the way it is. Oh, it's breaking all the stuff. Oh, well, I don't care. Right now, I just wanted the mobs out of the way. I guess maybe it leaves it there so you have a shot at getting it. I wonder if they did away with the, like, the articulating arm, the tracking arm. And w nope, there it comes. Oh, you guys actually get to see it build. That's kind of cool. So, we're whoa, that thing's fast. What's it doing? Okay, good. It's going. Now, question is, is how are we doing with handling the inventory? It's going in there, and it's... See, there we go. So as long as we're not getting a whole bunch of stuff popping out over here... It's picking it up, which is good. Why did it stop? There's no way we're out of wood. We very well could have burned through all the power it has to consume. Okay, this is weird. Ooh, is this one out? No? Well, guys, I think I'm going to have to cut this and come back when I have a better... Whoa. A better power situation going here. So, I'm going to cut this and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, welcome back. As you guys can see, I'm nowhere near the quarry. And that is specifically because, well... I have to go to the nether, which is not going to be easy in my current tech status. And the reason for that is, specifically, I don't have any diamonds. I use them all in making the, the quarry. So I'm kind of pooched because I have to go to the nether and set up lava generators. The generators that I'm using right now, they're just not cutting it. So I'm going to revert to something that I know works and go from there. And what I'll do is I will set them up. I'll get it all up and running. And just before I hook it all up, I will come back on and, and 
show you what we've done, and that will be our next episode. But uh, as for now, I'm going to try and, and get it going on some coal. So hopefully I can. I'm hoping that that works better. I don't know if it's the burn time on the wood, or I tried putting throwing sticks in and seeing if that worked. And it didn't seem to make a huge difference, but I mean, it's hard to tell on some of this stuff, I guess. So, guys, with that said, if you guys like what I'm doing here, I, I hope you guys do hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for, for new updates and so on, and I will keep putting videos out. I'm doing this for you guys, and the more... Whoa... Go away, creeper. That's the one that teleports you. Don't blow up. Okay, good. Uh, I I'm doing it for you guys. Guys, I'm out of here. Talk to you later. Bye.